Hi guys, so I decided to do a what do I eat in a day and I'm actually going to eat on camera. Uh, I don't eat that much. I eat under a thousand calories when I'm trying to lose weight and that is what works for me. I do have a cheat like once a week. My house is extremely messy right now and let me tell you, this would usually stop me from doing any kind of video like this. But I'm just gonna go with it and I hope that you, I uh, guess, don't judge me for my dirty house. I'm going to try to not show it to you, but I am in the process of making granola for my family and it's just, it's, it's a mess up in here. We also do homeschool, so I'll be doing homeschool today for probably about four hours in the, the morning. And then another hour in the afternoon is usually a normal day for us. My son, he has been doing homeschool since he was about two. I'm in the process of making this. I think for my first meal is going to be coffee because I haven't had coffee. My husband is in the IDF in Israel and he has to stay. He's in the Air Force. There's a lot going on over here. So he has to stay the night for two nights and he is like having withdrawals like he wants to be home right now he has sent me so many messages but really sweet messages he's he doesn't realize how much he misses his family until he has to stay the night at base so anyway i'm going to have milk in my coffee i'm going to have a normal big cup of coffee for me i'll just show you how i make that okay sorry had to change the battery so now i'm gonna go make my coffee and if you don't know i do show what i eat and what i have ate to lose 115 pounds so far and that's a couple of videos ago i haven't shown my before and after yet because i just it's a lot you know i have a lot of fat on my body still so let me do this coffee business all right so i just cleaned my mug because it was dirty of course this is three percent milk and it's it's a high fat milk this is not low carb okay this is cow's milk normal big cup i have two and a bit of stevia and this is a one fourth teaspoon so i have two and a bit of stevia and this is better stevia it is not however they process it they process it so where it's not bitter apparently that process of making it to where it's not bitter causes it to not be as sweet as normal stevia would be so i have a regular teaspoon just a regular spoon that you eat with not a great big one because i do eat great big ones too let me show you we use these for like when we eat cereal and stuff like that my husband does because i don't do that anymore <laughs> Two and a bit of this, and I forgot to boil my water. This is a water boiler machine, and it filters it, and it has cold water as well. But this is the boiling. I have to boil it. it. Takes about a minute and a half or so. So I have two and a bit. So like two and a fourth really is what it is. We're moving to America, so we downsized into this house. This is a tiny house, and we do love it. We want to live in a tiny house. We want less things in a tiny house. Unfortunately, we weren't able to purge 90% of our possessions, so we are a little overwhelmed with our possessions still. And we are moving relatively soon to America, so um, it's a little overwhelming. We've got a little bit of stress going on. My water is finished boiling. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to three-fourths of the way fill my cup and this splashes so I'm hoping that we can get some type of water machine like this in the States I don't know what they have but this is called the Tommy Arba T-O-M-Y 4 but since we're in Hebrew speaking language it's Arba Tommy Arba and it's by the Strauss Strauss <laughs> I can't speak Hebrew anyway so I fill it up all the way and they're fighting already. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to sit on the couch and drink my coffee. And then I'm going to clean the kitchen, do the dishes, and start on their schoolwork. While they're playing right now with their train, one is building and one is destroying. So should be interesting. My coffee is a little too hot right now. Just going to sit here probably for about 15 minutes and drink my coffee in semi-solitude. And it's 
probably going to be the last time that I will have a break because when I put them to bed for a nap, I have to work online. So I will be working for two to three hours online after I put them to bed. Doesn't mean they will stay asleep or even go to sleep within two to three hours, but I have it marked off that I work two to three hours in the, e in the afternoon, two to three hours in the evening, most likely four or five, because my husband may not come home tonight. And I've already worked today from four o'clock in the morning until nine. So, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've already worked for five hours this morning. My job does take a lot of energy, emotional energy, I guess you would say, is what it takes. Anyway, I'm gonna drink my coffee and enjoy it. Stuff out there. Glorious after effects of coffee. Wonderful. I love it. Okay. Uh, Raphael's gonna finish his schoolwork. I can't hear anything because I have headphones in and I hope I'm not being too loud. Um, I have a sugar free popsicle here and this is my pre breakfast. It's noon. Abigail's taking a nap because she needed it. Mm. I'm eating this only because I most likely have an iron deficiency and I'm craving ice like crazy. Just the thought of this ice and seeing the ice like the steam whatever come off of this popsicle. Mmm. Got something to tell you. The steam is cold. It is. If something is hot, then that means the steam is hot. You need to do your morning routine. Yeah, but I, I need toothpaste. I know. We're out of toothpaste, so we have to use baking soda because our credit card expired and I have complained about this to Amex on Twitter. <sighs> These people. They don't have customer service in Israel, so they outsource their customer service. This woman called me after she sent my credit card to a bank that is three and a half hours away. Might as well be five hours away. I probably told them that's five hours away because it might as well be. And... Show them my birthday card. I'm We're not going to be able to get it. What? Show them. What about it? Show them the birthday card. Now. Oh. Read it to them. Raphael made me a birthday card because he is learning to write and to sound out words. And it says, a very long time you're having a birthday. Mommy. Mommy. Love, love to, to mommy. mommy. And show them the colorful Happy birthday Happy birthday. Cake. Yes. And at the bottom it has a colorful birthday cake. I like that. I do too. Thank you. My birthday is in, it's next month. Uh -huh. Next month. Alright, go do your schoolwork. So he needs to brush better with the, um baking soda. Anyway, I can't order the toothpaste because we use fluoride free toothpaste and there's no way that I'm going to use a fluoride toothpaste for the rest of my life. I will never use it. And we can't order on iHerb through PayPal without having an up-to-date credit card. Who knew? So, 
We have to wait. And they won't just give us the number and the information on the credit card. We have to actually go get it. So they sent it to the bank in Elat. We live in Beersheba. We're not driving all the way down there to get it, okay? So they don't have a sneef here, which is a, what do you call sneef? A um, uh, Hebrew. I know more Hebrew than English right now. A chain. They don't have a chain, a branch here in Beersheba for our bank. But they do because we deposit money in there. Anyway, they're not on the same system, so they can't mail the credit card to the bank. So I said, why don't you cancel that card? Send me another one to my address where I live. Can't do that. So this means we can't buy anything because we solely use credit. It's not even credit, it's a debit. It's a debit credit card. We do totally different banking credit debit system here. You don't actually get a credit card here. Everything's run off of your bank. The bank gives you a temporary loan and you can choose how many payments you want on that loan, basically. And that, you like you never get somebody else's money. You're always paying with your money. You know what I mean? Like credit, you're kind of using somebody else's money. It's like here, 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 here. No. Credit cards here always work with your bank and you always, you're always paying for it with your own money. Anyway. <laughs> so this is my breakfast. I have a hyper smelling unit right here and I can smell things like from a mile away at least and his breath is bad. I can't handle bad breath or B.O. I just can't. It, it really gets me. Like, if Abigail goes in her diaper, I can smell it when the door is shut. You know what I mean? So, it's... Ooh. Probably going to be a long video. I hope not. Need to work. Look, what? Why? What? I have this because I just went to the beach and I got a bit of a sunburn on my back. And this scratches my back. I have a very fancy back scratcher, but the kids were playing with it, so I have no idea where it went. It extends and everything, and it looks like a hand, like a claw. So, so far, I've had coffee with milk. I'm uploading my video for today. We're daily vloggers, in case you didn't know. And our vlogging channel is called Fully Living. So, I'm uploading my video for today. And I wanted to just mention... Oh, that's not... That's not wide enough. You can't see me. I wanted to mention that one of my videos got demonetized because I'm going to say one of two reasons. I already know the reason. So I got demonetized for six hours and it was either because of the word Israel or because I am a fat girl in a bathing suit. My bathing suit was a tank top 
bathing suit, like a tankini, but a tank top that covered 100% of my midriff. And it was a tank top, so it's like a tank, it's a tank top bathing suit. And bathing suit bottoms that have a long skirt. So it was like, almost like a modesty bathing suit. However, um, it was a size too big for me, but it covered everything and it was, it was fine, right? YouTube marked that video as being sexually suggestive. I have always said, I said this 20 years ago, if I were outside in a bathing suit jumping on a trampoline, I would get arrested. I would get arrested. Why? Because I'm fat. And people are scared of fat. And people are really scared of things that jiggle and things that they aren't familiar with. And a lot of people aren't familiar with very big women body, bodies and women bodies that are in bathing suits. So, it's monetized now because obviously it's not sexually suggestive or explicit or inappropriate what I was wearing. Yes, I'm fat, but I deserve to exist and I deserve to live my life and nothing that I show is not worthy of existing. It's like I'm a person, okay? Hmm. I hate this part because I'm going to break one off and then the other one is going to fall. Hmm. Smooth. I have a lot of work to do today. Anyway, so I'm uploading my video for today and it should be okay. So this is a sugar-free popsicle. Um, it's not a creamsicle or anything. It's just a popsicle. So uh, sugar-free has 10 calories. So, so far I've had that and coffee. And hopefully I'll have an egg with cheese after I get done here. But um, we'll see. I try to keep my calories under 1,000. And I try to keep my carbs as close to zero as possible, except for, you know, I do have coffee. So on the days that I do have coffee, um, that's a little hard, but um, I have to edit my video now. And until my child gets up, which should be in just a little bit, I have... I, I, I'm going to work on two videos right now and that, that's going to get edited. <sighs> my kids are so freaking cute. It's like, it's so hard to edit my videos because they're so cute. Like, I feel like I'm wasting time too. Like, I'm not able to do as much as I want to do. <sighs> I struggle because I feel like I'm missing out on so many things for my kids because we could be doing things together. We could be going out and doing things. They could be getting toys that are like appropriate for their age and their skill and you know, trampolines and stuff like that. Um, power wheels, I really wanna get my son a power wheels. And he's getting to the age where he's like pretty much outgrown it. He's gonna be six when we get to America. It just makes me so sad that he missed that. I'm definitely going to get him some kind of ride-on vehicle, but you know, he did, he missed f 
four years now of having a power wheels just because it's so stupid expensive here i tried to get a used one and basically it's a price of a vehicle you know a real vehicle so it's i'm really perturbed about that uh, kind of bitter <laughs> because i feel like we've missed so much for the kids we've missed so much as a family just because it's so expensive to live here and six dollars a gallon for gas and it's just i'm looking forward to our new life in america which is a cheaper life and easier existence everything's easier i'm just so looking forward to that this is going to be an extremely long video and i don't want it to be but um i'm so happy with how my life is right now and you know, it was hard for me to edit that video of me on the beach in my bathing suit. Because I'm like, oh, God, you got every single, like, roll and lump on my body. You know, because my husband filmed it and he he just, like, I don't know. He he zeroes in on everything that's not good. Like, he, he has the worst angles when he films, right? Like, I'm talking because I, I have this, like here's a good angle, here's good lighting, here's where I should be filming, and I'm not. So he just films at like the worst possible angles. He gets every lump of me. I, t I tell him, tits and up, right? Tits and up. Like from here and up. No. He, he, has, he has to get all up in my business like this, like ooh, right here, you know? All the lumps on my legs. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that because I'm going to need to see that eventually for like a before and after, but I don't want to see it right now because I'm living it right now. So it was very hard for me to edit that video. Anyway, I have editing to do. This is what I'm working on right now. And just look at my kids. My other child, he's an adult. His name is Zebulon. He lives in America. He has never met Abigail, and he hasn't seen Raphael since he was 18 months old. I haven't seen Zeb for years since Raphael was 18 months old. So I'm very much looking forward to getting back to America, putting my family together. Stay tuned for part two where I show you what we eat for lunch and dinner and snack. Let me know if you like these videos, and I'll try to do at least one a week maybe cut down on the talking. Let me know what you like. Leave me a comment below and have a great day. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out last week's video and my other channels, Fully Living, Fully Cooked, and Fully Fun. Have a great day.